Welcome back, everybody. Hootie! <laughs> what? I'm pretty sure I just said hootie. <laughs> anyway, welcome back to the next episode of Just Press Next with, um... I'm Jordan, we've got John and Tiffany. We are continuing on our journey, I guess, westward, but it's kind of all over the place at this point. Technically, I think we're supposed to be heading to the railroad, but we're making many steps. Up. Yeah, because <laughs> why, not, why not see the sights first? Right? All right, we gotta go to the mission. Okay. Do we want to go all the way up there? Do we Fuck want to keep yeah, going slow? Or not slow, but like. Let's go to Fort. Let, well, how about Fort Cowardice? Because it's right there, and then we can go to a missionary. Okay. I don't really care. All Do right. You? Fort Cowardice it is, unless okay. we get stopped on the way there. Well, of course we get stopped. <laughs> oh. Uh oh. Porcelain takes a weird turn somewhere, and you find yourself completely surrounded by old dead trees. Not dead trees! Oh my god. Where are you? Dead. <laughs> a gray mist closes it. It's the mist! <laughs> a gray mist closes in on you as Horsley marches confidently toward forward through the gnarled ancient forest. You shudder. I'm glad Ooh. I'm glad Horsley is. But she confident. seems to know where she's going. Horsley stops. The fog ahead of you. Through the fog ahead of you, you see a shape. You dismount to investigate, and it reveals itself to be the shape of a pedestal, topped with the shape of a book. That's not take a book. Chills run down, and the, oh. More next so time. We got, next so next. we got the intro. Now we've got fundamentals. Do we want to go down this route? Oh, Ellie yeah, might stab good. us. What? Yeah. She's she's trying to find the necromancer. But if we learn it, learn their ways. But I'm not giving able the to... book to Alice. We're just reading it. Meanwhile, at the Hall of Justice. I told you she'd be mad. No, shut up. Do it. <laughs> You better not be thinking of doing what it looks like you're thinking of doing. Relax, Alice. I can handle it. Fight fire with fire, right? If I think for even a second that you're turning into another necromancer, I'll be fighting fire with lead. I'm going to say no. <laughs> oh, damn I don't want to. You guys you win. Know. It's your button push. Did you see what it gives us the power to do? No, I didn't. Someone is still doing battle. Oh. <laughs> when you guys do your do, whatever I just said. Wow, look at that cannon. Fuck yes, take an unusually what? sized cannonball. Demi Culverin cannonball. Wolf, it's heavy. Yikes, this mishap definitely got somebody played. This sign says, has the goblin word for toilet on it. I'm so glad we know goblin. That sign says toilet and goblin, which makes it seem pretty likely that goblins use the scent as a toilet. Now, where are you going to go in here? Oh, where's your You dip adventure? your hand into a spittoon, you can go into a poop it doesn't let tent. Me she Ooh. said it was supposed to be the math tent? Probably not, though. Oh. Based on the papers and anatomical diagram scattered across its surface, you're guessing it's just belonging to Clark Howard's nurse. Sense. The papers. The papers are mostly just born medical records, dental decurate somethings, dental limitations, and antibiotics haven't been discovered yet, that kind of thing. Hey, wait, what's this? This is like be important. Marching orders. Look at the diagrams. They're just a bunch of disgusting drawings of slice of the bodies. Fuck well, yeah! <laughs> huh? I'll read it. Shell still is small the medical school. Ooh, med supplies though. Army mm -hmm. field trauma. Military field. grade whiskey! Alice is gonna steal it. What well, we didn't though. The sounds like several goblins swarming in this tent. Fight them or leave them alone. Gary would be unhappy with this decision. <laughs> oh, what happens in this if you pick Gary? Mm -hmm. Maybe he talks to them. And then they Maybe. become your best friends. And they, <laughs> they have an army of goblins. <laughs> and they come over for your birthday. I'm going to leave them alone for now while we're looking around. Okay. Work. Administration. Mostly empty. Handful of boring personal records. They're incredibly boring. No really bad details. <laughs> Fine, read one. Charles Stern, Clutter C4, something missing. Oh, yeah. Stern. There was a Stern missing from the Stern's range. But they only, they they only said know. Joey and Effie. Effie. Well, maybe Effie was Charles. Back in the day. Of no. Mary, Shut up, I'm not ready for Mary this. killed her siblings in the name of a doll. And drank their blood. The doll drank their blood. Delicious. Looks like there's some good ones left. Sure, I'll take it. Holy crap! Hey. That is a lot okay. of whiskey. Now we can share with Alice. <laughs> yeah? Yeah! It's the general's office. How the hell wouldn't you? Oh, what? what? <laughs> He's just chilling. Oh. Um, He's a goblin. 
Goblin seen at this desk is repeatedly firing his pistol at that pie save. <laughs> I'm going to talk to him first. Say, uh, what are you doing? Shooting pies. Always, always shooting pies. Could you elaborating on that? Why shooting a pie? Yeah. Yes? <laughs> to destroy an, obviously. Must to destroying a terrible pie. He's got a point. What is wrong with a pie? Bah! A human will never understand him. No, really. Why pie? Why a pie shooting? Shut up! So much angry! <laughs> Keep trying. Looking, I'm pretty sure being a pie is destroyed. Destroy a huh? Look, so many <laughs> holes in a pie safe. You winning. A pie is dead. You certain being? Waiting here. I will check in. <laughs> what the fuck? Yep, is that pie that is shot to hell. Hooray, you are a success. A pie is so destroyed being. I... I doing it? So much doing it. But now what? Huh? What I shooting now? Um... I guess you finding another pie? What? There are more pies being... Yes. Yes? A world of full of pies. Oh no! This violencing will never ending. Sorry, being. Not wishing to enabling this behavior. No. This is my cross bearing. I must going and continuing the fight. Okay. <laughs> Thanking you! <laughs> okay, I wishing you good luck against the forces of pie. Ooh, what does Hornswoggle do? Leaving the gun, fighting a pie with honor, with fists. Yes, you are correct. Truly, a pie must be with my own strength fighting. General Gab's pistol. <laughs> the only way to truly fight a pie. General Gab strides out the door, jaw clenched, eyes resolute with pie hatred. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was weird. I guess I'm the general now. How's that gun? Is it decent? Oh, and we have a pie. A lead pie. I mean, <laughs> it goes great with whipped cream. Sure. Whipped cream? Oh, well, sorry. Whipped cream. <laughs> Uh, let's fight them, them guys. Hell yeah, put them down. Tough looking goblin. So everyone knows a goblin deserves to be in hell. Moxious. Yeah, that nearly just happened. Holy crap. <laughs> Do it. Ha! <laughs> oh, okay. Saws only work on skeleton. Oh, okay. Whiff! Whiff! <laughs> wow, these. It's gonna be like, did you just smell us? <laughs> I'm the ground with such an angry face. How we just murdered him. him. Why? Was Girl, he supposed to be, be smiling? The goblins who are guarding their beds. Aww. Need their Oh, interesting. Yeah, I'm so Seriously, with the whiskey, though. <laughs> we have a lot of fucking whiskey. Yeah. I wonder if we didn't know Goblinese or whatever, Goblin Tongue, if we would have went in here. In this toilet one. Uh, possibly. Might have stumbled at him and been like, oh god. Yeah. <laughs> There's so much poop. Can you can you go on the other side by the stove? I, oh, that cabinet? Oh. Cabinet oh, that wall. is a cabinet not oh, a window. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Son of a go. biscuit. Wow. <laughs> Good, thing we Good job. <laughs> I do what I can. Rescue mission. We'll go Good to the mission. silver platter. A rustling sound in the bushes draws your attention, <laughs> and you decide to investigate, because that's what adventurers do, no matter how bad of an idea it would probably turn out to be. The rustling turns out to be a goblin, wearing a goblin wearing, ugh, clown makeup and practicing their <laughs> car wheels. And mostly failing. No. Eventually, they give up on tumbling practice and started repeatedly sh throwing shiny metal ball in the air and catching it. Okay. Wow. Uh, hello. Hello. Hi. What are you two doing? I am learning to juggle. Learning a juggle. I am learning a juggle, not to juggle. Remember how they He's speak. Yeah, like <laughs> it tosses its single ball up in the air again, but distracted by the conversation, misses the catch. Okay, but why? A clown be coming, joining the circus, far away to traveling. Far, far to traveling, and then to popping. Popping? No, never mind. <gasps> I to knowing a good clown trick, a good trick of magic. Oh, yes, oh good. To showing me it? 
You borrow its ball, and with elaborate and theatrical flourishes, you make it appear to vanish, while hiding it in your armpit. The goblin applauds very impressed and waves happily as you leave. You got that kind of ball. Sweet. Poor goblin. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm a horn swallower, not a fighter. You so are you're a, a horn you're a liar? That, that's what you're saying? You're a liar? You cheat people out of things? You I'm son swallower. of a bitch. <laughs> Howdy, Doc. You're Doc. We're getting near Fort Aldead. I've heard there's serious necromatic activity there. We should take a look. Sounds pretty sinister. What is it? (laughs) Well, pretty much just what it sounds like. It's an old army fort where all the soldiers died. Except rumor is they're still walking around in there. Did they name it Fort Aldead before they all died? No, originally it was called Fort Just Fine. (laughs) We discovered a map. Fort Aldead. Okay. Go down by that tree. Damn it! We don't have oh. forgerin. Oh, I heard it. Fucking foraging strikes again. <laughs> My brain saw that as gun blossoms. I'm like, fucking ammo on a tree? <laughs> I'm sure it's possible. Okay. Oh, okay. Gosh, a real life nut. <laughs> uh, yes, I'm Sister Tabitha. I'm Bertha McGrumble Buns. What is, what's with the cops? I'm sorry, but that looks weirdly familiar with the cultists that we fought. He didn't have the white thing, though. Correct, but still... Just saying. Maybe that's not a white thing. Maybe he's just got a hardcore unibrow. <laughs> well, what with the cow attacks and so on, I felt my faith would be better served by running this place as a clinic rather than just a church. I also sell medical supplies if you'd like your healing to go. Uh, broken leg bill. <laughs> that is the one. Uh, well, that's obvious. I like to talk to me more. Talk. Hello again. Welcome back. How can I help you? Do you sound good in here in Serrano or anything? <laughs> Funny you should ask. I've been experimenting with the healing properties of a purple grass that purple grass. near here, but I've run out. Would you mind picking some for me? It grows near a cave that makes an unusual humming sound. Discover new application. Humming cave. No problem. We'll be right back with it. It's better than if they call uh, it Hummer's Cave. Do we want to? Yeah, we'll just put it back. A circus! What? To your delight, you see the silhouette of a big circus tent. Uh, well, we uncovered the. We uncovered. We uncovered. We'll just keep going, you... and we'll go there later. Fun can wait. <laughs> Damn, you pass on the serpent. Circus. Serpent. Surface. Uh-huh. <laughs> These rocks are weirdly organized. Are you on cave? You're gonna die, aren't you? <laughs> Wonders. Disney will kick our ass. Let's not do that. <laughs> you might be able to push Disney. Disney. You just got fined. <laughs> Fuck, we're done. <laughs> they will buy your face. Whoa! Is he electric? An electrified snake. All right. Oh. That's Man. what's going on. Do you think he's looking at a glass and he's cracking? <laughs> I hope his name is Thor. Way to kill a snake. Oh, did with a snake. I? I didn't realize I whipped him twice. Ooh! Holy crap! Wow. We be getting good stuff. That worked out well. Whoa! Good thing I killed the snake first. Yeah. Otherwise, he'd be stuck in there. Wow! What is that thing? What is that? Oh! Holy! What is what happening? Fudge! Bizarre ruin. Are we in Tron? Is that a neat thing? <laughs> so dangerous. No shit. The monolith is dark. It's like a huge cave in at some point. Hmm. A weird device. Take it. Oh. Strange stone arrow. Can you, oh. can you put it in the non Put it on the monolith. What? Technically, that's, like a, a gen- technically that's a circle though. We got a triangle. Oh, I meant but the circle. Top. Could, but the circle oh, could be like hovering. Gotcha. In the... gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Well, and, and John makes a good point. He could finish the, to make it a triangle. Can you I'm not going to lie, that was a small triangle that we picked up. Oops. It's not about the size of the triangle. Okay, let's head to this one first. Get the purple grass. <laughs> Professor's <laughs> house! The strange stone arrow you just found starts going crazy. Beeping and booping, whirling around of its own accord. Practically drags you in the direction of the strange, decrepit looking house. You discover a new application. Professor's house. Alright. All oh, it's down there. Down. Well, it definitely looks ramshackled. 
can you be oh. more specific in the ramshackle? <laughs> Oops, it appears to be an extremely powerful magnifying mirror. Basically, it's an inside out microscope. Check us. Check us. The microscopic mites that live in your office ah. seem to be getting along just fine. Cool. I thought when you said check yourself, it would have been like, too bad, you wrecked yourself. <laughs> Take that, toilet. <laughs> you dropped the ball here. <laughs> That's okay. Er, excuse me, my name's Berth McGrumblebuns. What? Oh, I didn't notice you come in. I'm not used to visitors, but folks generally call me the Professor. Is there something I can do for you? Well, I found this bleepin' gizmo, and I sort of followed the bleepin', and it led me here? Well, I'll be. It certainly led you to the right place, young lady. This is El Vibrato technology, and I happen to be as much as an as much an expert as anyone alive today. El what now? El Vibrato. They were an ancient race that lived here long before humans. Well, they mostly lived underground, so they might still be living as far as I know. Never seen a peep of an actual person, though. Just the machines they left behind. Were they space aliens? Could be aliens, or genius prehumans, or an entirely different terrestrial evolutionary line. At this stage of the investigation, it's possible to say. It's impossible to say. Isn't it exciting? Here, let me have a close look at your bleeping gizmo. Nice. Aha! As I suspected, this is one of their transponders. It detects El Vibrato technology and homes in, you see. That'll be why I led you here. I've got a thing I've been trying to repair. He tinkers around with the transponder for a bit, then plugs a strange stone marble into a socket on it. There you go. Good as new. Just swipe up or down to turn it on or off. Oh, swipe? Now I've got to warn you. This device will lead you to a El- abandoned El Vibrato technology, but it might also attract un- <laughs> unwanted attention. Fuck me. What? From the El Vibrato technology. You'll see what I mean. Just be careful. Okay... Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> you know, we all had to now that turn. I think about it, you've arrived at a perfect time. In order to get anywhere further with my research, I need more samples of El Vibrato Tech. But searching for it eats up all the time I could be using to research it. Uh-huh, I get you. Right! You're, you're the adventuresome type, so bring me back whatever devices you find, and if I can get them up and running, that'll benefit both of us. All right, deal. <laughs> Great! First priority will be to get my keystone fabricator running. They lock their doors and things with these little stone alloy blocks, see? So if we can make our own, that'll open a lot of doors for us, literally and figuratively. Alright, what do we need? The components are... <clears throat> the components aren't rare, at least as far as priceless ancient technology goes. Bring me, oh, about five handfuls of scrap. I should be able to salvage the pots I need from that much. Roger that. Talk to me again. <laughs> Fuck you. Good <laughs> <laughs> to see you again. Have you got those five piles of scrap yet? Not yet. Well, that's got to be our first priority. We won't get much farther without it. <laughs> Thank you, Gordon. <laughs> You go back and get I it. almost okay. didn't even intentionally do that. Almost. <laughs> All right. Let's bring her her purple shit. Oh, that's purple good. shit. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Preston held the sea skeleton propped on his elbows, looking through a pair of binoculars at the horizon. Guess he died before whatever there you he was go. waiting for showed up. Grab now, them. Now we've got this. Woo hoo! Yeah, but handy, but they also they will also come in pairs because otherwise. <laughs> oh, welcome back. Were you able to find the humming cave and the purple grass? Yep, here you go. Wonderful. Thank you very much. Blessings upon you. 30 XP, you fucking stingy bitch. <laughs> Technically, we really didn't actually have to go that far. We just went down because we got sidetracked. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's true. Let's go fix old broken legs, broken legs. All right, we'll give him his broken leg pills. Nice. <laughs> Uh, you hear a rustling sound traced to a small gulch nearby. Appearing over the edge, you see a goblin rustling around the brush. Presumably, it's a gulch goblin rustler. Always kind of assumed that referred to, to a different sort of rustling, though. Looks up at you and he makes some ignorant goblin, sounding goblin noises. 
Uh, scam food. What? Hey, quick. I wonder how good it got. There's a cooler coming. Shut the hell up. We have to distract (laughs) it. Do you have any food to throw at it? Hurry. Goblin sandwich. Score. Man, goblin tongue comes in handy. It does. All right. Uh, Where are you, man? Check on him. Oh, hello. Were you able to get some broken leg pills? Without them, I'm stuck just sort of lying here in the street. You know, you sound yep, pretty... here you go. You sound pretty peppy for someone who has some broken legs right now. <laughs> yeah, but we got the pills. He should be here. Woo! Thanks! I feel like a new man again. Or at least the same man with a new leg. That's good. Go drink some milk or something, okay? He waves and skips happily away. Well, that was nice. So Catch let's you, go bitch. fix this. Try to fix him. Pick the lock, because we already read that. Pick the lock. You open the hatch, check out the machinery inside. There's obviously something wrong, given all the plinking and spoinging and clicking noises coming out of the gears and stuff. It looks pretty complicated. I see what's wrong. It's complicated, but I get it. <laughs> you recalibrate some springs and rearrange some gears, and the machinery inside starts operating smoothly. The music improves immediately. Nothing to it. Fuck yeah. You can't talk to him after all the shit we just saw. Hello. Howdy, Bertha. Anything I can get for you? <laughs> hey, Yellow Lloyd. Oh, I thought he was going to... Oh, I fixed the piano player for you. I thought so. He sounds much better. Thanks a heap, Bertha. I'd offer you a free room in exchange. But you've already got one. Yeah, cheap oh, ass. <laughs> Lloyd. Oh, heard you had something interesting back. I didn't even see that. Just this big old dick. I'm not sure what you're talking about. Um, maybe my info is too old. I found a note from some travels that path through here about. Oh, that's not your te- that's not your text box to read. <laughs> yes, it is. Sorry, I skimmed. <laughs> well, she didn't finish what she was reading. Maybe I found a note from some travelers that passed through here about eight years ago. Oh, yeah, that was the previous bartender. He had a uh, little trick he used to offer to show people. It's what got him fired eventually. That senator's wife wasn't amused. Probably what you just said. Yeah. He rummages around under the bar for a minute, then blows the dust off of a tiny piano about just a stall. Here, you can keep the piano so long as you don't ask me about the trick. It's even better than what you were suggesting. It really is. <laughs> Got a miniature piano. Even Thanks. I would have fell for that one. Let's just turn in this salt pita so we can make some weird shit. Have you got that salt penis yet? <laughs> yep, got it right here. That's the stuff. Thanks. Okay, the next thing I need is a certain kind of <laughs> hot it. pepper. It's called a murder pepper. I am murdering people. Because it's really spicy? Because it literally has a knife and kills people who ask dumb questions. <laughs> <laughs> they grow in the area outside of town. You should be able to find one if you just wander around a little. Okay. Well, with that information about a murder pepper, we're going to call it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Share this video. Tell your friends. All that shit. Or we'll Press. fucking break your legs. <laughs> and then you Not can't that. have <laughs> broken leg pills. That's true. So. But we might. Find out. Next time. West of Loathing. On, we're going to bust your fucking legs. Oh, I'm just kidding. Head. All right. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Bye. Game over.